Y'all, I think I made a deal with the devil, and uh, at least I get to drive the harvester today. Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and we are on Millennial Farms again. And if y'all remember, Zach would not let me drive the harvester um, on the last couple crops that we did. So I asked him what it would take for me to be able to get to drive the harvester over here on the sunflowers. We made a deal. Can't tell you what it is yet, but we made a deal. And he, uh, he wants to try me out and to see how good I am here at harvesting because he doesn't know anything about me right so I mean he had me hauling grain earlier and then he had me in the like auger wagon and doing some more hauling grain so now he's got me over here in this and hopefully I'm proving myself pretty good but I don't know yet and y'all I uh I've I've the deal is that I have to uh continue wearing green John Deere equipment the entire time that I'm here. Unfortunately for Zach, he doesn't know that today is my last day here at Millennial Farms. We've got a big project that we need to do on another farm and I'm going to have to get out of here. But I told him I'd help him off with this harvest and we're going to be helping out with the corn harvest too. Um, we're hoping that we can get um, the corn done a little bit faster. Um, we're hoping that that X9, we can get ahead for it and get it over there and get working on that. But I've got to get all of this done first. And Zach's been trying, he's really, really nice. And he's been trying to teach me a trick to be able to get work done a little bit faster. All right. And I mean, I guess when I say a little bit, I mean like a lot of bit faster. Um, so I'm going to give it a go here. All right, so I gotta I gotta warm it up. It's uh, it's my right hand. All right, and Zach said that all I need to do is just just snap, and it it uh, it takes care of it. Like it, the, the job is just done. Boom. So let's see if I uh, um, can get it done right. So are you ready? Whew. All right, warming it up. Here we go. Wow, check this. It worked. It absolutely worked. Y'all, we got the entire field done in no time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out my auger here. Uh, am I too far over? Yeah, I think I am. Or my, not my arm, my auger, but this. There we go. So, I'm gonna dump this into here and then I'm gonna run over there. Um, yep, yeah, out here by myself. Everybody else, they've gone over to the lake. They uh, cut out a little bit early. He wanted to see how good I was going to do. So I said if I needed any help, I'd give him a holler. But they're over there. I think I'm going to go join him really quick. And then he was talking about something about maybe doing some mowing this evening. So we might jump on that a little bit. I don't know what he's got for um, a mower or anything. But we might give that a go. Um, and then probably tomorrow we'll be harvesting the corn. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, hop out of here, run over, get in this one, fill up this other truck because this first one's full now. Yep. So we're going to pull up here, get this, and we're going to figure out. I'm going to go run over there, talk to him. We're just going to close these up and uh, get to the lake and figure it out figure out exactly what uh, we're going to be doing whether it's going to be selling or storing but uh, we will definitely let you all know and yeah y'all i'm gonna go it's 2 30 roughly right now i'm gonna go enjoy myself a little bit um i uh i guess i'm gonna break it to him that after we get done with the uh the corn i'll be uh heading back like i said we got this new new adventure that we want to uh, get started on right away and um i'm really really excited for it so it looks like we have 77,654 liters that's not a bad harvest that's not bad so i'll see you guys over at the lake 
Um, y'all, Zach said, come over here on the left-hand side of this big rock and just drive down in the water. Um, uh, I'm nervous, but uh, let's let's see. Whoo! Check that out. It's like the sun was like, you know, playing some tricks. And but yeah, we're going across. I'm uh, I'm gonna go over here. They say there's some really cool decorations over here, just to kind of hang out. And um, I don't know where everybody else is. Oh, look at that! It's a bull. All right. I don't know how far up here I can drive or how far they want me to go, but uh, we're gonna go up here and check this out. This is cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, they've been out here. They've been out here. Does it turn on? Oh, I can't get it. I can't get anything to come in. I can see why they like to come out here, though. This is really cool. <laughs> really, I wonder what they do out here. Um, they said they were on around the lake just a little bit farther, but he's like, "Hey, go ahead, check out my island." So it's really, really cool. I think they're around over, uh, over there. Is where they're at right now. Said something about a, I don't know, another little beach area. But this is really really cool. I gotta try and figure out how I'm gonna get back across there. And uh, like I said, talk to him, figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the day. But I'm gonna enjoy this for at least a couple hours. And uh, definitely definitely relax. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, everybody, it's a little bit louder in this one, um, but what we're doing is mowing, and we're not going to be coming back picking anything up. We're just mowing it. He uh, he doesn't want anything collected at all. He just wants to put it all right back in. So that's what we're going to be doing. But y'all, we uh, I'm hoping to be able to get on that corn tomorrow. I really, really am. I'm looking forward to maybe getting to try out the new X9. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, I prove myself. On the sunflowers getting it done so quickly um, but yeah this is what I'm going to be doing so I think the next time you guys see me um, back here with another little quick thing is gonna be during the corn harvest and I got a couple tricks up my sleeve um, Zach thought he was gonna get one on me with the uh, a couple pieces of equipment and we are gonna get him I've got two surprises um, in store they're gonna be here tomorrow and um, I'll have to take them back home with me obviously but we got two surprises and oh, I think he's gonna be uh, I I don't want to say upset he, he's he's gonna realize he, he like got got right so we uh, we'll see you then well y'all we got done with that it's late <laughs> it's it's like 7 30 at night now um we're hoping that the corn is going to be ready tomorrow we really really are um it should be without a problem but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and park this mower right over here Let's see if i can back it in here without hitting anything so zach doesn't get on to me oh, he doesn't get on to me he just there we go. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to bring this bad boy over here. And he said go ahead and park this one inside here. So I'm going to go inside and open up the door. And then we'll be good to go. Oh, man. There we go. Go ahead and close this one. Alright, well I'm going to take this in here. I think Canadian Farmer Don and I are going to go out to eat again. That was really good food we had the other night. So I'm going to close this up, get changed into my nice, awesome John Deere shirt that uh, Zach has provided me up here in the uh, spare room. And we're going to go grab dinner. And the next time you guys see me, I'm going to close this door too. Next time you guys see me is going to be in the morning. And like I said, we should be rolling on that... Uh, the corn. So as soon as that's over, we're gonna be getting out of here. Went ahead and spoke to Zach about it. 
while we were over at the uh, the lake. He understands and he appreciates it. So let's see what kind of tricks and stuff we got in store for tomorrow. But I will see you guys then. Well, good morning, everybody. It uh, Zach let me sleep in a little bit today, and we uh, we're gonna be harvesting corn. It is ready. We got this dirty girl right here. Um, definitely, definitely needs a bath. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, get on with the corn harvest first. And uh, he told me that uh, I'm probably gonna get to drive the harvester today. Look at this, y'all. Look what I had delivered last night. <laughs> Um, Zach hasn't seen it yet. Shh, don't tell him. But, uh, we're gonna have some fun with this thing today. This is a nice Brent Avalanche. As you guys can see, it is a 2596. This thing is gonna make it a lot easier. We're gonna be able to stay out in the field a little bit longer. Um, you know, pretty much as far as you can see that way down there, it's cornfield. Pretty much as far as you can see that way right there, it's cornfield. So, these trips are gonna be quite long. Um... Um, we are definitely going to be unloading this harvester right here very, very often. And uh, we're going to be in that one too. And we're still going to, I think we're going to use this auger wagon too. We're, I think we're going to need it. Um, I think we're honestly going to need both of them out here in the field. We're, uh, I think the plan is to, uh, you know, he was planning on having a, uh, a semi at each end of the field here. And pretty much the... Uh, the auger wagon was going to follow the harvester around and then just dump off at the ends and then catch back up. Um, the only problem with that is whenever you're on the left-hand side, you know, you can't get anything. So we're going to have to pull off and then do it. Um, so maybe with two harvesters, we're going to be able to split this thing in half and then do something like that. But I'm going to wait for him to uh, get out here. He had a couple things he had to finish up really, really quick. And uh, then we're going to get out here and get started on this. So I'm... I'm thinking I'm going to get to be in this one today, but I don't know. He might make me drive the red one just because I brought it over. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back once we get out here in the field. Y'all, I cannot get a break. I got out here, and the first thing I needed to do was bring the semis over. So we put one on each end of the field, and then by the time I got the first one, they were ready to unload, so I had to run over here, grab this, then the second one I brought over, they were ready to unload again. Y'all, I am just, I'm like a chicken with my head cut off right now. I can't keep up. I mean, I'm barely able to get right here. I just got done unloading the uh, the truck into the, you know, into the semi, and here I am again, already ready. So it is, man, it's going to be a massive massive, har massive harvest we've already filled up one semi truck with 60,000 liters you know we we've got almost 30 in here right now we've got the other harvester over there it's got like another 20 I mean it is gonna be a huge huge harvest here we're gonna push through um, you know I'm, I'm glad to be up here helping I'm really really looking forward to getting on to my next uh, I don't want to call it a mission it's my next adventure right so we're uh, definitely gonna have some fun with it. It's gonna be a little bit different. I have a feeling. Gonna be using some different equipment uh, than what I typically do, and um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we uh, we're gonna help out here. Looks like this guy. All right, he's empty. We're gonna go pick up the other one. Oh, looks like he had to stop. All right. Well, I'm gonna go figure out what's going on down here, and. Uh, I'll let you guys know when there's something interesting happening. Y'all! Yeah! I'm driving the X9! Oh, and I found the secret button to make this thing go fast, y'all. Um, yeah, apparently you could crank this thing up and just burn through this corn. So that's what we're doing. Um, Zach was like, here, you know, you've been working out pretty good. I know you're going to be heading back. So, oh, we're missing some. And he's like, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Here, go ahead and give this thing a demo. Let me know what you think of it. And I was like, man, I really appreciate it. I'm like, how did you like the, the fast speed? He goes, what, what do you mean the fast speed? And I was like, you can go, you know, really fast in that thing. And he goes, no. I was like, yeah, with that header, that X9, you can go like 25, almost miles an hour. 
And he goes, show me. So we're showing him. <laughs> oh, this thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Y'all, we have uh, we've knocked out quite a bit of the field here. I mean, there's still a bit to go. Um, but now with this cranked up speed here, we should be really, really good to go. Um, oh, it even tells me when I'm at 80%. That is really, really cool. So we're going to come over here. We're actually going to dump off into this here. I just want to make one pass at a time. There we go. All right. Well, I'm going to keep working on this. I don't know how much more he's going to let me do, but I'm going to take advantage of everything I can. So as soon as we are uh, done, I will uh, let you guys know exactly how much we harvested. All right, everybody. So we got this entire harvest done now. What I'm doing is I'm just emptying off this other harvester here. And then we're going to put that into the semi. Dump that off into the silos. And then we're going to see exactly how much we have. I'm thinking it's close to a half a million liters. Um, this is a really, really good harvest here. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sad. I mean, it's lunchtime. I'm going to go up here grab some lunch with the guys they all said they'd uh, take me out to eat and uh, then I'm gonna be heading off uh, to the next spot so a little bit bittersweet you know I've enjoyed working up here the last few days but it's time to get on to the next thing uh, for sure Zach uh, I think he's okay with the case he uh, he didn't have many bad things to say about it other than just the typical, you know, John Deere vs. K stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, I might I might swing back up here one of these days if I'm up in this area. But we uh, are definitely going to go ahead and move on over to the next. And I'm, I'm sure you guys are wondering what I'm going to be doing. Well, it's different stuff. It's, it's completely different than the typical farming that you've seen me do before. Uh, we're going to try to use some definitely different equipment that I mean it's nothing that's uh you know like groundbreaking or anything like that you know um really weird stuff it's just different equipment that I haven't done before um I mean I've done it but not a lot so be on the lookout for that for sure um but as soon as we get this emptied up here we're gonna go ahead and jump in the truck get it over there and figure out what our total is for this uh for the corn now it's a ton there is a ton of corn here so we're getting down to about 3,000 liters left. I mean, it's a pretty good little harvest here. So we're going to hop in the truck. Oop, wrong one. There we go. I'm going to come over, empty this off. I should have turned that thing back off. It'll be all right. there. I'm going to go ahead and cover this thing. Maybe if I can figure out where the cover's at. Huh. It's not letting me. Alright. Let's just go ahead and leave this here. Yeah, there we go. So I wish we had like a, a digital readout or something that would tell us how much is in here. So what we're going to do is come across over here. And as you can see on the corner, wow! We're at almost three quarters of a million. 745,000 liters. We still have 160,000 liters of corn or uh, soybeans in here too. Man, he is going to make some really, really good money on that. But like I said, everybody, that's going to be it for today. And that's going to be it for the series. So if you enjoyed the video or the series, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest, you know, let's play, role play type stuff, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.